Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 2. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 5 of Book 2, which states that if we have a given line segment, AB, that's bisected at the point D and cut yet again at an arbitrary point D, then the area of the rectangles formed by AD and DB, so if this is length DB, this area, plus the area of the square, square formed by CD, so this area, plus this area, will be equal to the area formed by half of the line segment, in other words, CB. So those two areas will equal this area. Now if we look at this from a more algebraic point of view, might be a little easier to understand. If AC is half of AB, then AC is X, and CB is also X. Now if CB is X, and we label CDY, then DB would be X minus Y. And this proposition states that AD, in other words, X plus Y, multiplied by DB, which is X minus Y, plus the square on CD, plus y squared, will be equal to CB squared, or x squared, which is this formula here, which you may remember from high school algebra. But this being Euclid's elements, we're going to prove this not algebraically, but geometrically. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw a square on CB. Next, we will draw a line perpendicular, sorry, parallel to CE through the point D. And to draw another parallel line to EF through the point H. And finally, draw a line parallel to CL through the point A. Now, if you remember from the previous proposition, although it wasn't the proposition, it was proven within the proposition, db or dm will be equal to db all squared. This is a square. Similarly, lg will be equal to cd all squared. This was demonstrated in the previous proposition. So the first thing we want to look at is the complements ch and hf. This being a parallelogram, these two complements are equal according to proposition 43. So ch is equal to HF. If we add the square DB, then we have CM is equal to DF. We've taken two, we've taken two things that are, are equal, added something else to both sides of the equations to get CM equal DF. Now if we look at AL and CM, since C bisects AB, then AL will equal CM. But we've already demonstrated that CM equals DF, so we have AL equals DF. Add this area to both sides of our equality, and we have AH is equal to NOP. Again, this purple area plus the dark green is equal to the light green plus the dark green. But now AH is equal to AD times DB. Since DB and BM are equal, as we mentioned before, BM is equal to DB, so this is equal to DB, and hence AH is equal to AD times DB, which is also equal to our nomon NOP. If we now add LG, or CD squared, to both sides of the equation, we have AD times DB, which is this area here, AH, plus CD squared, which is this area, will equal this entire square, which is the nonom plus this little square, but 
NOP plus this little square is equal to CB all squared. So we have shown that AD times DB plus CD squared is equal to the whole of the square of CB. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.